I'm here with Matt LaHood at the agency in beautiful Bondi. Thanks, Melanie. Look, I'm very excited to be here myself and uh, we've got a couple of um, things we might be able to help with today here. Social media platform, what's your favourite? Um, I'd have to say, I'm, I'm actually, I'd have to say LinkedIn um, okay. for me. Um, I try to declutter my mind around other social media platforms. Um, my kids' phones just ping, ping all, all night and all day when I'm home. Um, but me, LinkedIn, for me, it's a bit of a blend between social and work, if I'm finding it. And what kind of things do you like read or watch on LinkedIn? Um, more the news, like the, the type of relative things to our industry, which is, is good. A lot of, lot of good content. I find myself watching probably more the video content. If there was, a lot, it was an auction or a, you know, an interview with somebody, I found some really good content on there. Anybody, anybody in particular that you follow? Um, no, everyone from everyone. I just saw Jerry Harvey do an interview this morning. I was enthralled about Amazon and mm -hmm. what he's doing with Amazon, and um, just pick up here, pick up a lot of good information off there. Mm -hmm. News stories. Everyone's posting things, and no one particular. Deepak Chopra is one of my favourites. Okay. Um, so I've I've been following Deepak for twenty years. Yeah. Um, so always inspired by his pop ups. You know. So, where do you learn about the latest digital techniques? Um, everywhere from what's happening, um, a lot of the things Steve Carroll's been obviously doing and showing and all seminars that have been out and I've been to a number of those which have been really, really um, interesting and, and for me I've learned a lot. The kids, my kids, the latest apps, so sh show me all the latest stuff consistently. And what age are they? Um, 18 and 21. Mm -hmm. um, so they're using all the latest messenger tools. So Photoshop, um, those type of things, but also too, a lot of our team, we've got a very young team. Mm -hmm. So anything new out there in the marketplace, which the team see that they think potentially is gonna be the next big thing, or it will give us our clients an advantage or them easier way to do business, whether it's an app and an open house or whether for the leasing team, they're out on a Saturday doing 15 opens and they can get information back to their clients quick or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. sign on glass, all these types of things that are coming through. Yep. But also too, I think it's dangerous grabbing every latest thing as well. Yep. Um, I think I take an approach to less is more in the sense where let's just pick one or two and back it all the way, look at where it's future development, rather than having an app for this, an app for that, we just all day on, on apps otherwise. Yes. You know. How do you evaluate if something's good or not? Um, we take a small sample, we usually get a test run for our busiest teams. Mm -hmm. So anything we're ever going to adopt, we just changed CRMs just recently. Okay. Got my top high, four highest producing teams to thrash it hard, right, really all the way. Mm -hmm. Test it. Um, what's good, what's not good, etc. And then they came back and said, um, it was pretty unanimous that this was better than what we were using. And they trialled two others as well, and they said this one was the one. So we ended up going with that. Very good. Yeah, you do have to kind of like test apples with Absolutely. oranges. Absolutely. Nothing mm -hmm. worse forcing something onto people just because somebody's selling. You have to get the user. Mm -hmm. And I think in real estate, it's dangerous. You can easily, in, in a leadership role, you can sit in a control room pushing buttons and not actually be out on the field. I go out on Saturdays to the auctions. I've actually got listings myself. I'm using all the tools that everyone's using. So it's actually a lot easier for me to make an executive decision if I need to. Yeah, that's good because you've still got, yeah. yeah literally have to be in hands the game. on the wheel. It's, it's just not a business. You can sit in a control room pushing buttons. It's more of a body contact sport real yeah. estate. So what gadgets do you give your team? What, like tools, are they like? All the same standard. <clears throat> in terms of giving the team any, you know, the property management team have all the, the latest, you know, technology. They can iPads, computers, phones. The agents tend to work on their own. They're very um, focused on what they like. Some are Mac, some are PC, some are, some why not just use an iPad. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've noticed a trend lately where tablets, agents aren't sort of bringing laptops anymore anywhere. They've sort of gone to a tablet with what? with a pencil like the thing I've got over there. Yeah. Um, and finding that's something, <clears throat> because open homes, it's probably a little bit less offensive to do uh, take names on an iPad than it probably is on a phone. Because yeah. if you're on your phone, you can also look like you're texting. True. On an iPad, it's a bit more. So I've noticed a lot of them migrating to iPads mm -hmm. um, and or the Android version. 
um, and using the apps, you know, using our CRM through there. Taking photos on the iPad too has now become a bit more popular. Right, um, okay. For yeah. record keeping purposes? Oh, yeah, just even, even just like, you know, um, pre-launch photos, like pop them on Facebook or LinkedIn or social, saying this is just doing a photo shoot here now. Okay. They're using that. And so like behind the scenes shots? Behind okay. the scenes shots. So yep. they've got it all in one, I guess, with the iPad. They can print um, with the 4G um, version, obviously, you can just download things in real time, send contracts to people, sign agreements on there. All those types of things are, are becoming the norm now. Very good. So, we're, so those gadgets are personal for the sales agents. Yep. With the property management team, obviously, you've got to have a certain format to work with the back end there that works, so they get supplied all the equipment. So thank you, Matt. Thanks for letting us come to your home in Bondi and hear about you, your team, and what you think of digital marketing. Thanks, Melanie. Welcome anytime. I hope I've added some value today.